What would you say to, you know, someone, you know, a guitarist or someone who's maybe up and coming or just kind of still searching for that, like that tone or like they're maybe they're unsatisfied with their their record so far because they're not able to really capture that that feel that they've always wanted in their favorite records. So what would you say like to guitarists out there? I mean, that's that's a sort of a tough thing to answer because feel to me is such a natural thing. Um I'm not a, you know, a very technical player um by any means, but I think what I lack in that technicality I make up for in my pure feel and emotion. Um, that's something that, you know, I, my, my heart comes out when I play. Um, and am I like the most technical? Do I nail every scale or do I? No, I don't. But I think that feel and emotion comes through more than that. Um, my opinion you know, some guys are, you know, they'll, they'll play circles around me with, you know, arpeggios and this and that or whatever. And that's great. You know, don't get me wrong. I, my, my hat goes off to those guys that are that are that technical. I don't know if it's my age. I grew up in sort of an era where it was a lot of feel and a lot of just raw emotion. Um, guys that were a little sloppy, you know what I mean? Um, they were hitting other strings and other notes and stuff like that. But it didn't, I don't know, it didn't matter. Because to me, what, what I connected with was the feel. And um, that to me means more than, you know, if you can, you know, play a scale at 220 BPM or, or whatever. That just doesn't, it just doesn't appeal to me. And I mean, I'm sure it does to a lot of, you know, guys that like that kind of stuff, which is great. But I always tell people just try to, I don't know, you know, try to express yourself. Um, if you flub a couple things, I think it's okay as long as you're expressing your emotion and, and what you want to get out. Um, that to me is the most important thing, way more than than being a, a technical guy. But again, I don't know if that's because of the era I grew up in and the players that I, you know what I mean, um, saw and and uh, and heard the the Hendrixes and the you know the Robin Trowers and the Ace Fraley's and I mean look at a guy like Fraley, right? Very influential. He's influenced, as you can see, so many, you know, from John Five on down, who is an amazing guitar player. Is Ace Fraley a technical guy? No, not at all. Is he kind of sloppy? Very much so. But it didn't matter. Like, we all just worshipped this guy because of, they, they were like iconic um solos and leads that he that he that he wrote um and the feel was there like i mean he could just lay on one note and bend it man and it just crushes you and that to me is way more appealing than you know just like 